Hello there. So today I'll be going through every Warrior Cats book and figuring out reasons why they all suck. Obviously this is a joke video and these are my real opinions on the books, so don't take it too seriously. Alright, yeah, fine, I'm done talking now. Number one, Into the Wild. Okay, this being the first book in the series is cool and all, but for goodness sake, why is Firepot in the Allegiances before he even joins the clans? Fire and Ice. I can't even remember what happened in this book. Also, why is it even called Fire and Ice? Like, sure, fire could be a reference to Fireheart, but why ice? Forest of Secrets. Graystripe's eye color isn't even consistent. Hopefully we don't see any of that with any other characters in the future. Rising Storm. One eye says summer. It's green leaf, for goodness sake. Get your facts straight. A dangerous path. Great Star Clan, it happened again. The Darkest Hour. Scourge's collar is described as black, despite the fact that it is obviously color changing. Midnight. Feathertail is named Feathertail, even though her tail is clearly not a feather. I just really felt the need to bring up this issue. Moonrise. The allegiances are an absolute dumpster fire in this book. Dawn. Too much walking. Starlight. Twilight. I don't know, a reincarnation thing is a little weird, I guess. Sunset. The final battle isn't even at sunset, it's at sunrise. Such a missed opportunity. The Sight. Brightheart never got another apprentice. Dark River. Oh look, Heavy Step's still alive despite clearly dying of green cough two books ago. Outcast. Another mundane traveling book. Need I say more? Eclipse. I swear to Star Clan, this guy is immortal or something. Long Shadows. This book is called Long Shadows, and yet there are no particularly long shadows specifically relevant to the plot. In my opinion, Heavy Step still isn't dead yet, lol, would have been a much better title. Sunrise. The authors randomly switch between spelling gray with an E in place of the A and back again. Alright, next arc. The Fourth Apprentice. Medigan Gat. Fading Echoes. The header on chapter 24 is exactly the same as the one on chapter 23. This is completely unacceptable and I will not tolerate- Night Whispers. This book has a grand total of about one iconic scene and it's not even very relevant to the plot. Sign of the Moon. I really don't have much to criticize about this one, it's just really, really boring. The Forgotten Warrior. Antpelt is still in the allegiances even though he died a book earlier. Wait, this is starting to sound familiar. The Last Hope. I mean, the book itself is alright, but did the build-up for it really have to be five books long? Alright, with that out of the way, next arc! Hmm. But shouldn't that be, like, previous arc? Because Dawn of the Clans comes before all the modern ones. Nah. The Sun Trail. Oh, come on, there's only two mistakes in this entire book. What am I supposed to make content with now? Come on, Aaron, put on some effort. Thunder Rising. Moonshadow died in a fire, then was basically forgotten for the entire rest of the arc, as well as the entirety of the Warrior Cats community. Also, why aren't Riverstar's thoughts italic? The First Battle. Oh, come on, even the authors forgot about Moonshadow. Wait, not this again. The Blazing Star. The wiki has overviews for some of the chapters, but not the other ones. I know this has absolutely nothing to do with the book itself, and probably also happened for a bunch of other books on the wiki, but whatever, I need something to complain about. A Forest Divided. Oh, come on, they're even forgetting how he died now. Path of Stars. I don't know, man, just take me to the next arc. The Apprentice's Quest. Half of the book is just more mundane walking. Also, Rowan Star is a jerk. Thunder and Shadow. The title of the book clearly refers to Thunder Clan and Shadow Clan, despite the fact that there are actually three other clans that live by the lake. Shattered Sky. Purdy's death was extremely unnecessary. Darkest Night. Since when could dead cats get apprentices? River of Fire. Ahem. <clears throat> Actually, it is scientifically impossible for a river to be made of fire. Book sucks, title is misinformation. The Raging Storm. Ever wondered what it's like to have a ghost as your mentor? Phew, just ten more to go. Lost Stars. How do you lose a star? The Silent Thaw. How did the entirety of ThunderClan not even notice something was very wrong with their leader for an entire book? Veil of Shadows. L. Bramblestar. Darkness Within. The C in ThunderClan isn't capitalized for the entire book and it annoys me to no end. The Place of No Stars. Everyone's arguing over who should be leader for half the book, then Graystripe wanders in midway through after being gone for a month and everyone immediately agrees he's boss. A Light in the Mist. A period is missing on page 180. River. Ah, more punctuation errors! Sky. Surely I can't be the only one who always thought that Fidget Flake's name was Fidget Lake, right? Right? No? No. Oh. Shadow. Woohoo, another forbidden romance in Warrior Cats. I'm so excited. Thunder. 
I have not read this book yet, and therefore it is objectively bad. Well, that was fun. Let me know in the comments what reasons you would roast some of the Warrior Cats books. Thanks for watching, and uh, oh yeah, 150 likes and I'll roast every novella.